Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to my channel. I'm with T.L. Wigs and Tracy, the owner of T.L. Wigs, sent me this piece so that I could show it to y'all. This is Envy's Chloe in the color Amaretto and Cream. Now we have a lot to talk about with Chloe. I've been wearing her just a little bit the last day or two trying to get used to her. Um, I'm going to add a little video at the end of this one of the inside of the cap because I just want to leave Chloe on for this review so that maybe I can try to do a little bit of styling while she's on my head. I don't have her secured down with glue, but I have my little wig cap on. So if you want to see the inside of the cap, she's a lace front, left mono part. Um, the video will be at the end. And I'll also add a video of some outside color for this beautiful amaretto and cream. Let's start right there with this color. I had never seen it before. My gosh, it's so pretty. So, you see, this is like a lighter golden brown kind of in the front. And then it's almost like some black, you know, like the color four or six or maybe eight, because I'm no color expert, but this is a pretty dark looking black underneath this kind of golden brown. Let me turn and show you, show you closely. And you see here in the back where it's darker down here. And I'll um, add a video at the end of this color outside, and that'll give you another really good look. But see that pretty medium golden brown? And then this down here is darker, almost black. And then she does have this dark root. Now, the reason I wanted to wear Chloe for a little while um, I've not had this style before, and I just wanted to get used to her a little bit. A few things to talk about is, when I first put Chloe on, um, you see her nodding up here because it's black. Oh, see? You can see the color really pretty right there. That is so pretty how they did that. But these knots, you know, to me, they're, they're pretty obvious. Let me try to get up close. But, you know, anytime we have a piece that's got really, really dark brown hair or black up here at the lace, you can generally see some of the knotting. If you're sensitive to that, um, you know, I've made a video before and just showed you how to take loose powder, how to take some loose powder and just put it on a little makeup brush. And when you start dabbing it in there, it'll just kind of lighten up the look of those knots. However, on a really dark one like this, like black, you know, it kind of is what it is. If you're real sensitive, you're going to be able to see those knots a little bit. Now, Chloe here, she's got that gorgeous long bang. What did I say it was? Nine inches. So, I am eight inches from here to here. I have a 22 inch circumference and I'm going to list all my measurements uh, down in my description because I want to talk about the fit of this cap too. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that about those dark knots because if you want to style this like up off of your face or something, I just want you to be aware that you, you'll be able to see a little bit of that right there. While I'm up here where that lace is, I wanted to mention this because I like this a lot. This lace doesn't come out very far. Very well done. I mean... If this, if this piece was in a blonde or in a light gray or some really light color where those knots, you know, they weren't black and maybe quite so obvious, I don't think that you would be able to tell in a million years um, that you were wearing a wig because that lace is so well done and just melts right into my head. You, you can't even tell. So I'm really, really happy with that. Okay, well, let's talk about the fit on Chloe. So, like I said, I have a 22-inch circumference, of pretty much all the way around average head. And Chloe is just a drop tight on me. Now, I can wear her, but I just want to make sure to mention that if you're average all the way around, she's just a very snug fit. There is no extra room in this cap. Now, I'm going to come up here and show you my coverage. 
you guys, you know, I shade the side of my head here because, you know, I'm all white, white and gray headed and there's not much of it there anyway. So I just shave this little piece off so that any of the um, pieces that I wear, I don't have to worry about, you know, that hair coming out right there. But this piece right here, I just want you to note the coverage because it doesn't, I wish it came out just a drop more. Just a little bit more to come over here and give me a little better coverage. So, if you're petite, or really to petite average, I think would probably be the best for this piece right here. Um, for the best coverage and the best fitting cap. If you're anything over 22 inches or you're over the top of the head, it's bigger than mine. I don't know if I would, this particular one anyway, I don't know if I would look at this piece because this one is pretty tight on me. And I want to show you this. So here's the, the bottom of the ear tab is right here. And here's the top of my ear. Again, you know, for me, for very average, I wish it would come down just a tiny bit for the best coverage. I can wear this piece. It's just, you know, we know I don't like them real snug to my head. So, again, petite, petite average. Maybe not even a straight, true petite, but for sure, petite average, I think would probably be suited better to this piece. Okay, let's just take it in. Isn't that pretty? So feminine. This is the perfect length. If you want to feel a little dolled up, and like you've got some hair. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I tell myself not forget to, to forget to tell you guys that even with the length that's on this hair and the amount of fibers, because I would say it's a it's a good medium density, I would say. I have not had a single shredding, not one piece, so that's been great. I want to talk to uh, about these fibers, you guys. Now these fibers are a little dry, and I I had said before that I actually really kind of like that, and I want to explain why I say that. Um, if you guys have been wearing wigs for a while, then y'all know what I mean about sometimes we can get a brand new piece, and it, synthetic, these are synthetic fibers, not heat friendly, but I'm ma mainly talking about synthetic pieces, and they'll be so soft and silky. Sometimes I've had one or two that was almost to the point of not very realistic. Just too soft and too silky to mimic natural hair to me. So I've had a piece or two before where the fibers were a little bit dry. Like this one on Chloe here. Just like real hair. Our real hair, now some of us have that most beautiful, perfect, <laughs> wonderful, soft hair, but I never did. When I still had, you know, bio hair, my hair was never perfect like that. This, to me, it's not coarse, but it's, it's just, you know what I mean. It's just a little drier, and it just feels real. Yeah. It, it just feels good to me. And, you know, I will say this, too, because, I mean, this is just real life. I'm 60 years old, and, you know, maybe when I was 25, for sure, my hair was down to here, you know, when I was really young, and it was thick. I had a lot of hair, and it was. It was in really good shape. But I'm 60 years old, and even if my bio hair was this long, I just don't believe that it would be that kind of baby soft, perfectly beautiful hair. No, it would have a little texture to it. And that's why I'm really liking this one is because to me, it's just so realistic. Okay, so I'm gonna turn all the way around so we can just look at her from a few different angles. Look at that, very feminine, very pretty. I'll just show you the back again. The natural movement, kind of, you know, it's not barrel curls, but it is very wavy down here at the bottom with all this beautiful body. <laughs> Who doesn't want to have hair like this? 
Oh, it's beautiful. This amaretto and cream, I had seen it, you know, in pictures, but I'd never seen it in person. Look at that. That is stunning with that. It's kind of a golden brown mixed in with that black to me. There, you can see. See? That's pretty. Okay, you guys, I know we need to try to keep these videos kind of short, but I wanted to talk about a few things about Chloe here. This is just a beautiful piece. And you guys know what I always say, which is, picture this piece in the color that suits you. You know, like if you're a blonde or you're a redhead, um, picture this in the color that suits you. And, you know, try to imagine what that would look like on you if amaretto and cream isn't your color. Okay, I'm trying to remember everything that I wanted to say. I want to make sure to say, uh, to ask you guys to come over and join us on the T.O. Wiggs private Facebook group. It's called T.O. Wiggs Support, Inspiration, and Education. I'm going to drop a link in my description that will carry you straight over there so you can join that Facebook group. Say hi to me if you come over there. Um... Also, I'm going to leave a link, a direct product link for this piece, Chloe, here over to the T.O. Wigs website. This piece right now is $210. Um, so, I'll leave a link for that. I'm going to leave a link so that you can meet my sister reviewer, Missy Bill, at I Dream of Wigs. I'm going to leave her link. Go and watch her videos, you guys, because she shows a lot of pieces that I don't get to show because, you know, we show different stuff. Okay, so, and, oh yes, and I, I'm going to drop a link to the T.O. Wigs website, and that way you can look at all the pieces um, that Tracy has on the website. Okay, you guys, I, oh yes, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> so, I have this little claw clip thing here. It's kind of a medium-sized one. <laughs> I'm so smitten with this hair, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. But I was thinking, and um, just to try to show a couple of styling ideas. So I just, I'm doing nothing. I'm just literally pulled it back like this. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this little claw clip and just press it in there. Y'all know I can't see what I'm doing, so it may not be perfect, okay? Look at that. Look at that pretty feminine look. Isn't that pretty? Th to me, that's just a, oh, nothing. I just look fabulous with my hair and a little claw clip. Didn't have to do a thing. <laughs> We're blessed, y'all. We're so blessed. So that's just a little half a lobe in the back. So... Now, you could certainly take this piece, you know, and do some updos if you've got more hair skills than I do, because I don't really have any hair skills. I just play around most of the time, but you could definitely, look at that pretty long bang. You could put you an updo up there, make her look all pretty, leave you some little baby hairs hanging down. She would be fancy if you wanted to get all dressed up and go out. You could make this girl look classy fancy. That is pretty. Okay, everybody. I know I've kept you long enough. Just want you to get a really good look at Chloe. I hadn't seen too much about her, so I told myself before I started the video, you don't have to rush so bad. Just make sure that you show the piece. So that's what I'm trying to do. Pretty. Okay, everybody, talk to me down in the comments. Tell me what you think about Chloe, okay? Or if you've had a Chloe before, because I know she's been out for a while. And tell me what you think, all right? Okay, everybody, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Let's take a quick look at the inside of the cap of Envy's Chloe in Amaretto and Cream. Here she is. I'm going to turn her inside out. So, Chloe has a lace front that just goes temple to temple. She's got this left monofilament part. 
There's a little permatease in here, but it's not very much. Then she has this soft ear tab, and I don't feel much of a bendable stay in there. And she has this little extended open nape, and then these pull strap type adjusters. And then she's all open wefted. Okay. This is Chloe by Envy in the beautiful color Amaretto and Cream. Let's just come out here. The wind is blowing a little bit and just get another look at Chloe. See if you can see this color. She's pretty. Okay, everybody.